Do you notice anything strange in this image? Now, this, this is not the House, which the Republicans have lost control of themselves, and we therefore don't have a working House of Representatives. This is the Senate, where Democrats are in charge. What do you notice about this picture? Look who's on the Foreign Relations Committee in the United States Senate. Still, as of today, they took him out of his position as chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, but look, he is still there. While today he was arraigned on a federal felony indictment for allegedly conspiring to work as a foreign agent, as an agent of the Egyptian government. He pled not guilty today. He released a statement after his plea insisting on his innocence. But this is the same U.S. senator who was already recently indicted on federal felony charges of bribery, of conspiracy to commit extortion. Now he's charged as an alleged foreign agent. And while he is indict under indictment uh, on those charges, he is continuing to serve on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, like this is normal. More than 30 Democratic senators have called on New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez to resign, even though he, too, is a Democrat. No Republicans have called on him to resign because presumably that's too awkward for them with their own party's leader indicted on 91 felony charges. But honestly... Who cares about whether other people are doing the right thing or the wrong thing? You still have to do the right thing or answer for it. Democrats control the United States Senate. I understand they do not have enough votes to expel Bob Menendez from the Senate. You need a two-thirds vote to expel a senator. It almost never happens. It hasn't happened since they expelled Confederates during the Civil War. I get that about the issue of expulsion just the practicalities of it. But leaving him on the U.S. Senate's Foreign Relations Committee right now, while he is on trial as an alleged foreign agent, in this world, with what we've got going on right now, seriously? I honestly just do not know why Democrats don't want to do this. It would not be hard if they wanted to do it. If they wanted to kick him off the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, all they'd have to do is kick him off and put somebody else on in his place. That's it. I have absolutely no idea why they aren't doing it, but so far they're not.